Bluebeam Review provides an extensive list of markup tools, including text, notes, highlighters, lines, clouds, callouts, stamps, arcs, curves, and images to add to your PDF. In this video, I'll go over how to add each of these tools to your PDF. I'll be working in the design profile. In this profile, the markups are all shown really clearly in this toolbar here, on the right side of the interface. To add a markup, simply grab it from this markup toolbar, or from under markup on the command bar up here. Add a text box using this tool. Drag it out and type in your text. You can also add text using the typewriter tool. Click a spot on your PDF and start typing. Click Enter to move to a second line. Add a note to your PDF with this tool. And add a flag with this tool. The pen and highlighter tools work just like a regular pen and highlighter, allowing you to make your own custom marks on a page. You can also use the highlighter to highlight text on a page, like this. Use this eraser tool here to erase any freeform pen and highlight marks. You can choose from different eraser sizes, or use these erasers to erase strokes or entire annotations. The stroke eraser removes contiguous line segments, while the annotation eraser removes the entire pen or highlighter markup. To add a line, grab this tool and click two points. To make sure you're drawing a straight line at a 90 degree or 45 degree angle, hold down the shift key as you draw it. Insert an arrow the same way, click and click. Draw an arc by simply dragging it out. To extend the arc up to 360 degrees, select one of these yellow control points and drag it with your mouse into the desired shape. A polyline is basically a group of connected line segments. Click around on your PDF to select the corners for the line. Then double click to finish it. A callout is the perfect combination of an arrow, line segment, and text box. The spot you click first will be where the arrow points, and where you drag it to will be the side for the text box. You can always go back and move each piece of the markup to where you want it. The Dimension tool sort of combines the typewriter and arrow into one markup. Click between two points, like we did with the arrow, and then type in any text you wish to appear here. You might notice that this markup also looks a lot like the Length Measurement tool in Review, except for the important fact that it doesn't give you any sort of measurement. Well, if you'd like to make measurements on your PDF, Open the Measurements tab from Tab Access, or go to Measure and select from these tools. Measurements that you add to your PDF are markups and can be used and edited in the same ways. Moving back over to the Markup toolbar, the next tools are the Rectangle and Ellipse. 
both of which are the click and drag sort of markups. The polygon markup can be added to your PDF in two different ways. You can drag it out, like we did with the rectangle tool, and then move these control points to edit its shape. Or you can click around for the shape's angles and double click to end and close the shape. You can add a cloud to your PDF in the same two ways. Remember that Shift key from earlier? You can use that here too. Hold down Shift to draw out a perfect square or a perfect circle. These bottom two buttons here allow you to add images from your computer and crop them. You can also add stamps to your PDFs in review. Choose a stamp from this list on the markup menu bar and add it to your PDF. You can add more stamps to this list by importing stamps from your computer, downloading stamps from our website, or creating your own. Stamps created in review are PDF stamps with support for dynamic text. You can also import dynamic JavaScript PDF stamps in Review. Finally, Review provides special markups that you can add to the selectable text in a PDF. Go to Document, Review, and choose from these markup options. Use Review Text to select a word or phrase, then start typing a suggestion for replacement. Who said marking up PDFs had to be complicated? Thanks for watching, and go get them, Bluebeamers!